tragedy. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. Thank you so much for joining me for another cleaning, motivational video, guys. This video is jam-packed with some things that I'm super excited to share with you. So first, I will be changing up a few things in the kitchen as far as decor. And then in the dining room, I will be redoing my buffet as well as the dining room table. And just some other stuff going on in there as well. Super excited to have you guys. Thank you for coming back if you are a lifetime loyal. I love you guys so much and I'm super excited to have you. And if you are new to the channel, I really hope that you will consider subscribing. I am Siobhan. I am a wife, a mother. I have six amazing kids. I work full time outside of the home in the nonprofit sector. I also have an Etsy shop that I love to run as well as this amazing YouTube community. Don't forget guys, there will be links to my vlog channel and my shopping channel in the description box. And I hope you will just join me for all of them. So let's hop right into the video. As you can see, I am starting off in the kitchen. I don't know what it is, but I feel like starting in the kitchen, getting the kitchen together just gives me that jump start that I need basically to clean the rest of the house. I cannot stand cooking in a messy kitchen. I just can't stand coming into the kitchen and stuff everywhere. I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm stepping over stuff. It's just too much for me. So guys, I always start in the kitchen and I always start with the dishes. So as you can see, sometimes the kitchen just becomes a, a catch-all, guys. There's stuff in there from everywhere. I don't understand. It just, it is. But before I can get to it, I have to make the girls some lunch. And as you can see, I'm making a simple peanut butter and jelly, which is our go-to. They love peanut butter and jelly. It's, it's just one of the things that they love. I'm going to cut them up an apple and give them a cutie. And that is their lunch. And then I'm going to give them a little bit of juice. Let me tell you this really quickly. So the girls, the kids ran out of juice maybe like three days ago and I have not bought any juice I just been making them drink water and you know at first they were like oh my gosh we're going to die we, we, we need some juice but they're getting used to it and I'm super glad about that because with the summer coming I feel like all that juice is not necessary and also they just don't need it water is good so also guys I wanted to tell you this Mick Cafe this um this coffee right here is delicious it tastes just like hot chocolate oh my gosh i always put the collagen in there as well as i will do the no sugar creamer or the non-dairy creamer either one but i love putting the collagen in there as well and it has no flavor and the coffee is super super good guys oh my gosh i'm not a i don't like coffee that tastes like coffee 
Like I'm not one of those people. I, I don't think I'll maybe one day I might drink black coffee, but I don't like the taste of coffee. That tastes like hot chocolate. It tastes so stinking good. So I just wanted to share that with you. As you can see, my dining room is a mess and I had a vision for the dining room, but I kept, I just couldn't get it together. I couldn't get it together. So once I did the Cricut projects, guys, I was like in full Cricut mode. I was making all kinds of stuff and it's nice, but of course the dining room needs to be used. So I went to Michael's and that's where I did the shop with me at Michael's and I bought this, um, what is it? Like a rolling cart. I bought the rolling cart. It was $49.99, probably with some tax, I guess like $52 or something like that. I put it together, super simple, and I put all of my Cricut stuff in there. Even the Cricut Easy Press 2, it fit perfectly, and I love it. I know where everything is at. I know where all my tools are at. I know where all my supplies are. It is perfect. So if you're in the market for something like this, a cart or they have a couple different um, styles and sizes and colors and stuff like that, definitely check them out, Michaels. And I know they always have sales. Also, sign up for their emails because I believe you get coupons on that as well. But I think it's just Michaels.com. But like I said, I went and got this cart and I love that all of my Cricut stuff is right there, easy to find. I can roll it, start it up, get it done and put it right back.
It's the end of the weekend. Now I am moving on to folding clothes. Big Chris washes all the clothes in the house. He'll just take the dirty clothes down, wash them up, and bring them up and just sit them in the dining room. I'm not big on having baskets of clothes everywhere. I can't stand that. So I don't mind folding up clothes. I do have a hard time with putting them up. I will say that. But folding clothes, that is my jam. I don't mind folding clothes. I actually enjoy it. It's, you know, it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. I put on something on YouTube get to fold in and I'm good to go good to go so if you're wondering that's the one thing that big big Chris will do he tends to do laundry on Mondays and Fridays I think something like that but he doesn't mind he'll go down in the basement fold the, I mean wash the clothes and I will fold them up normally a yana that is a yana short to fold clothes um, every now and then there'll be an abundance of bad baskets like he can he can bang out some clothes guys he really can and they smell super good because I buy the gain and the, the bees and all of that. So I know what they're going to smell like. And he'll wash them up. But usually when there's like four or five baskets, I'll take a couple baskets. Ayana will take a couple and we'll kind of get them done. Every other second, just to make sure we were up to date. Now it's closer to 11 and I ain't hearing nothing. I just need to know that you're okay. So in the midst of me cleaning up, of course I made dinner and I actually tried something different this time. I don't know if you've ever tried the dry ranch seasoning that comes in a bottle. I ended up using that like flour. So I seasoned, seasoned my chicken really well and then I put, I dipped it in the ranch um, seasoning. Like I said, I used it like flour and I put that chicken in the air fryer and it was really good. The kids really enjoyed it. So that was just another way of me, you know, trying something different. But also what I've been looking into is the Instapot meals, the pressure cooker meals. I have a pressure cooker. I still have not used it. I guess I'm kind of a little intimidated, but I do want to start using the pressure cooker to cook that and the <laughs> and my air fryer is going to be like my two new things or no my two things that I use over the summer those are going to be the two things so while the kids were eating I was still cleaning trying to get things together get things together since I don't have a dedicated office space that's one of the shirts that I made I'm, I was making all kind of stuff guys but anyway since I don't have a dedicated office space that corner over there tends to get a little out of control and I've been trying really hard to keep it together but I actually went through it and um, purged a lot of stuff got rid of a lot of stuff and it felt really good as I was cleaning off this dining room table I'm like it just started to to fade guys do you see that it has like an orange kind of hue over it yellowish hue also like I said the kids got into my permanent markers and they were using it for coloring and stuff it got on the table so that is why I ended up painting the table as well so come on give me love I'm gonna show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me want to say Damn. And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we Me 
So I tend to go from the living room, dining room, and kitchen back and forth because I'm a busy mom. And, you know, sometimes you got to do things, cook, clean, whatever, wipe, get them some juice and so forth. But anyway, I wanted to show you, I went to Gabriel Brothers and I picked up those two rugs to put into the kitchen. And also I bought the dry towels that are on the stove, that new home picture. And I bought some baskets to go on top of the, this is my pantry area. And I really like the way it turned out. I really like the colors, like I love the black and white with the pop of red or even the pop of yellow. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep the Mickey and Minnie in there or not. But either way, I love the way it turned out. I did, after a couple days, end up taking the rugs up because they were slipping everywhere. So what I'm going to do probably is get some like non-stick pads, non what is it, skid pads? I'm not sure. Um, just for the rugs because I think the rugs are really nice. They were just slipping everywhere. So we don't want that So now I'm just cleaning off these three jars right here that I picked up from like the red white and blue for like Six dollars like two dollars a piece or something. I got them a couple years ago And I ended up using one for the utensils and then one for all of my teas And then the other one I just put up but it right now you'll see them all three on the counter I ended up removing one of them You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me peace. Like you have no options I take you Now this is the next day guys And I actually, when I went to, I think it was Home Depot or Lowe's It was Lowe's actually I bought four plants and some other stuff And I believe I showed you in another video But if I didn't, then it's coming up <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to paint the buffet hutch or the buffet so badly, guys. I've been thinking about painting it for a while, and I, I kept saying, do I want to paint it black or white again or what? But I ended up going with black. And when I tell you that the paint that I picked up is amazing, guys, this paint is amazing. It's the Bare Ultra, yeah, Ultra Scuff Defense. That paint is amazing. Number one, it is rolls on so smooth like it is such a nice paint it dries super fast and it's supposed to be real good i know you've probably seen the commercials with nicks and scratches and scuffs and all of that it's supposed to be really really good i love it i i 100 love that paint so i bought it in a can of white and a can of black so i painted the bottom of the buffet black and the very top of it white because i wanted the items that i put on top to pop and so like the dining room table the bottom of it is black and the top of it is white so i love that they now match perfectly the colors what i'm going to do as well i'm going to paint the baseboards and i think i'm going to paint the handrail going upstairs that was another thing when i spoke to the lowe's um, person associate i said i want a paint that is going to last for an area that's really high traffic like the handrail and stuff like you know the kids up and down and up and down and so forth so i want something that's going to last that paint is amazing guys i lie to you not it's amazing so if you're in the market for it definitely check it out All right, but take your stuff back baby it's you
You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you So I have no idea how many coats of paint I put on this thing. I want to say I put four. I, I could have done more because I wanted it to be crispy black and crisp white. Like I, I wanted it to be crispy, crispy black and white basically. So I'm not sure exactly how many coats of paint I put on there. But I also got the gold knobs from Home Depot. And I believe the long knobs were like three dollars and something and the shorter knobs were two dollars and something so not bad at all the screws that came with them were actually too long so i had to go back to home depot again and i bought a a pack of screws that had about six different sizes and that's why you'll see me going back and forth because i couldn't tell which screw to use like one looked like it worked perfectly the other side now mind you this piece is a very old piece this is solid wood. It has the dovetail parts on the drawers and everything. It's nice. I bought this for $5 at the red, white, and blue store like three or four years ago. And I love it. I've always loved it. But it's an older piece. So, you know, it, it, it's not a newer piece where things are very similar and so forth. I just had to make it work. Put it that way. I had to make it work. So that's why I was going back and forth and back and forth. It was just a mess. But I finally got it. it. It's perfect. I'm not changing it. I love it. And so my daughter, Ayana, was like, so everything is going to be black, white, and gold. I said, yes, baby. The theme of the house is black, white, and gold. And you'll see the silver, the gray, you know. Though, And then you have pops of color everywhere. That's the way I love it. That's the way I'm going to keep it. That's, that's my thing. I love it so, so much. And then outside, I love for outside to be colorful, colorful. So, like I said, when I was at Lowe's, I bought four new plants. So, two are hanging plants, but I don't know how. I can. I have hooks, actually, to hang them up outside. I just don't know how I'm going to get water up there once I hang them because I don't have an outside hook or anything to put a hose out there and, and get a sprayer and do that. So, I'm not going to hang them up. I'm actually just going to leave them the way they are. So anyway, back to the buffet hutch. I love the gold. I painted the top of this like three or four times. And it when I tell you that this paint dries so quickly, guys, oh my gosh. Another thing I had to wait for, I ordered an air conditioner, a huge air conditioner from Walmart. It was $400, but it covers 550 square feet. So that is why you'll see towards the end, I'm going to put up curtains that kind of block off the what is it like the hallway leading up the steps and stuff because I want to keep the air downstairs so that is why you'll see that um, we don't have central air so you got to do what you got to do so if you're wondering why I put the curtains up that is why I'm trying to keep the air the cool air downstairs in that area because it was traveling out into the hallway and going up the steps a little bit so that's why I just can't stop thinking about you When you're away, nights are sleepless Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break Boy, you're my weakness Give and we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget but 
So I know some people are going to ask, why did I paint the table over again? And I'm going to show you right here. The paint started to chip. This is chalk paint that is on the bottom of the table. I did not protect it with a wax or anything. I don't know why. I just did not. So I ended up just repainting this. I put one coat of the black paint on it. It covered up all of the chips and everything. It's, I love it. it. It was perfect. Super easy to do. I did this at night. When I came back down, I flipped the table over the next morning and I did, I think I did two or three coats on the top of the table. I did go to Home Goods and that is where um, I got a few things from Home Goods. I also went to Target and I'm going to be doing a video of my son's room. I got him uh, several new things for his bedroom from Target. And yes, so like I said, I have a couple videos coming for you guys. Please be patient. Bear with me. Some videos got to go to sponsors and such, but this video and the next video does not. So yay for that. Anyway, now I am painting the top of the table and I know you can see that like yellowish hue or orange or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. I have put a ceiling on top of the table and I think it just turned it um, like an off white, like a yellowish and then it started to peel. So that didn't work guys this is real trial and error guys for real for real um but i repainted the table and i put a, i put several coats on i did tell the kids when we clean off the table it's only going to be with water and maybe um i'll have to find like a very soft non-harsh chemical because even the mrs myers i sprayed it on the wall when i was wiping off the walls and it actually was peeling off the paint so I'm just trying to find something that is going to disinfect the table but not be too harsh on it. In a middle of sex, and it all came back when I thought that everything was lost. On a cold November night, when I met my missus right, when my feelings come to life again. When I thought I didn't care, I just saw what was standing near, when my feelings come to life. up every morning next to her I gotta pinch myself to prove that she's my girl There's no place I'd rather be here in this world Cause I have no doubt and I know she is the one I guess it really was giving up on love And I tried to block those feelings off In the middle of sex Then it all came back when I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night I met my missus right My feelings come to life again My feelings come to life I didn't care I just saw what's standing near Made my feelings come to life again She's my missus right My one and only one My one and one Up on love, and I tried to block those feelings off. What else could I do? In the middle of sex, Ooh. and it all came back, came back when to I me. thought that everything was lost. Oh. Oh. Oh
I am a paper collector. I love notebooks. I love paper. I love pens. I don't know. I just collect way too much stuff. Not on purpose. So anyway, I got these gray bins from Home Depot. They only had three of the gray bins on the left. And then they had that one set of two that I am using right now. So I have some business stuff like uh, the packing stuff that I use and all of that. And so that's what I'm putting up. But these are little pictures right here, guys, that I drew in 2002. And so I'm just showing you some. I love to draw. And so my daughter was like, well, why haven't you drawn anything recently? And I'm like, because right now I'm into my Cricut and into other stuff. I guess, you know, being one of those crafty people, I like to do a lot of things. I like to draw. I like to paint. I like to do Cricut. I like to do projects. I like, um, oh gosh, I like coloring and so forth. And she was like, oh my gosh, mom, you do everything. And that's why I need my own office. So I can have all my stuff nice and organized. I can find it when I'm in the mood for coloring, when I'm in the mood for painting, when I'm in the mood for Cricut, and so forth. Anyway, I want to thank my girl Lady T for sending this stuff over to me, guys. Definitely check her out. I am super thankful. Thank you so much. And I am going to leave all of her information in the description box. Go down there, check your girl out. She sent me some seasonings. I'm going to have to use it. Uh, FYI, I have never done a crab boil or anything like that. Never, ever, ever. But I need to try it out, basically. Peeled away, got me moving through time and space. Your magic can be erased, can be erased. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah, e -e 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 yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty neat. A different side of me, yeah, e -e -e yeah. I cannot tell you how happy I am that I got chairs with no cushions. These are the type of chairs you need with kids. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. These chairs right here are the chairs you need. They had jelly, juice stains. That's why I was flipping them over. I'm trying to get everything. They had stuff everywhere, all on these chairs. When I turn around, they didn't spill chocolate milk. Or there's something else on these chairs. I'm so glad I do not have cushions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, the one thing I love to do, I, I feel like every night the house should be vacuumed. Like, I know my house is going to be a mess. I understand that. But I love for my floors to be clean. I don't want everything all over the floors. It drives me crazy. But now, like I said, I'm just cleaning these chairs off really, really good. I mean, I wiped them off top to bottom. And like I said, the kids had stuff everywhere. So these curtains, I picked up some curtains from Home Goods. They were only $25 for a set of two blackout curtains, nice, thick. I put them up right here, like I said, to keep the air conditioner downstairs to keep it cool. I almost put a curtain over the door by the kitchen as well, but I didn't. So, like I said, I'm just putting this up. And it actually works very nice. It's keeping the air in that space. So, I'm super thankful. Because that is why you didn't get a cleaning video for a couple days. Because it was like 90 degrees here. And it was way too hot in this house to clean. Even when I got up early, I just couldn't do it. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. I love y'all to the moon and back. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the buffet, the table. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Rewind, it feels so nice.